6.6 in a slider crank mechanism the connecting rod ab is 750 mm long and the crank oa is 150 mm long the end b moves along a straight line passing through o trace the locus of a point p 300 mm from a along the rod for one revolution of oa the slider crank mechanism this mechanism is explained as follows the end a of the connecting rod ab is connected to the crank oa which rotates about o the other end b is attached to a slider which slides along a straight line the locus of a will be a circle and that of the end b will be a straight line the locus of any other point say p on the connecting rod will be neither a circle nor a straight line and can be determined by the following steps one by assuming various positions of the crank end a two by obtaining the corresponding positions of the end b and three by locating the position of p on the lines joining the first two positions finally a smooth curve drawn through the located points will be the locus of p the curve obtained is known as coupler curves let's see the step wise procedure to draw the above path first draw a circle which is the path of point a then divide circle into 12 equal parts from the center of the circle o draw center line which passes the end point b of the rod with center 1 and radius ab cut the path of b at point b1 draw a line joining 1 and b1 here we have to trace the locus of the point p on the rod at a distance from point a now again with center 1 and radius pa cut the line 1 b1 at point p1 obtain other point in similar manner then draw a smooth curve through these points this curve is the locus of point p observe that the distance b1 b7 is the travel of the slider and is equal to twice the length of the crank this length is known as stroke length note the movement of slider is not uniform with that of the crank end a this completes the procedure to obtain the required locus of any given point using slider crank 